Um, hello, my name is Wayman Cohen, and I am recording this video today because I want to issue a testimonial about how the Silverstein Institute and the oval and round window reinforcement surgery, specifically placing uh, fascia over my oval and round windows inside of both my ears, um, especially my right ear, um, it, in addition to reinforcing the eardrum, which is their updated surgery, um, changed my life, um, brought me to a 100% recovery. Um, just to give a little bit of background on my story, um, I'm currently 25 years old. I first started feeling pain hyperacusis, uh, aka noxacusis, in about midway through the spring of 2021. Um, so for the first and I, and I got surgery from Dr. Silverstein, uh, performed by Dr. Nyack uh, in March of this year, 2024. Um, and I got that on my right ear, which my right ear was always um, the main issue. My right ear consisted of about a 90, 90% of the pain associated um, from sound. Um, so between 2021 and, and uh, 2020, about midway through 2023, I had no idea um, about um, hyperacusis hyper treatments. Um, the only thing I knew uh, was that I, I got these little earplugs um, from an audiologist and I would wear them in my ear actually 24 hours a day. I, I didn't do anything uh, without earplugs other than take a shower. Um, they were my life and they... Uh, but yeah, I just want to, you know, the, the main message that I'm trying to get across in this video is the power of the of the surgery. Um, I don't know what I would have done um, without it. It completely altered the trajectory of my life. And I'm forever grateful um, for you know, just Dr. Nyack, Dr. Silverstein, and the rest of the entire team um, over at the Institute. Um, so, um, I mean, just a little bit more about my story in case it's um, helpful um, is that like when I would listen to sound you know, when, without my earplug, when I had the earplugs in, I was okay. But whenever I listened to sound without the earplugs in, which never happened because I wore them all the time, but if I were to, which happened a lot of times over those uh, three years, uh, the pain would stay in my ear uh, and the pain wouldn't go, wouldn't leave for like 48, 72 hours usually. Um, so if I ever messed up and ever got caught without my earplugs in, it, the punishment was long lasting. And now I don't wear anything. And I, I live in New York City, which is one of the loudest places that you could possibly live. And of course, I'm always responsible in that I will always wear my earplugs in environments that are 85 decibels and up because it's just, you know, it's practicing good um, hearing hygiene, but I don't need my, you know, earplugs at all anymore. I'm still a little bit scared of noise, but that's going away. I can tell uh, that over time that's going down and down, but the most important thing is that I was in tremendous pain constantly before the surgery and after the surgery. I don't know how, other than the fact that, of course, specific regions in my ear were reinforced, but unbelievable. It's just unbelievable that I have yet to experience pain in my ear um, after getting the surgery done. So it's life-changing. And uh, 